Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be looking at Gaogan 2. Uh, this is kind of an AI project from NVIDIA. It's really kind of cool. You basically just use basic sketches to generate images uh, using machine learning. And so we're going to jump in and take a look at what is new in Gaogan 2, uh, how you can play around with this, but first, a bit of an expl explanation about that name. If you're wondering where it came from, G-A-U-G-A-N, it's actually a contraction of two things. First off, it is named after the artist, and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation here, Eugene Henri Paul Gauguin, I'm guessing. Uh, he was an artist, a certain painting style you can see in action right here, some of his works from the Wikipedia. And the GAN part is an acronym G A N, or Generational Adversarial Network. This is a very popular form of generative machine learning. Uh, you basically just send it millions and millions of uh, pieces of input and it does its best with it. Well, this one uh, is being used to train Gaogan 2, uh, an art tool from NVIDIA. By the way, you can check all of this stuff out, but Gaogan 2 is actually available to run in the browser. We're also gonna look at uh, Studio, uh, something you can run standalone on your computer if you've got an NVIDIA card, but we're going to start things off with Gaogan 2 in the browser. I have to tell you straight up front, this is perhaps the worst website I have ever used in my life. If you accidentally scroll to the right uh, on Mac OS, for example, you can't scroll back. So uh, don't scroll to the right, by the way. Uh, but when you come in here, by the way, this is available at uh, gaogan.org forward slash gaogan2. Um, and then what you have to do is come on down here first and click this little checkbox. Otherwise, nothing works right. Now, you have the ability to upload sketches, segmentation maps, landscape images, and so on. Uh, but I'm not going to show you any of that. Instead, I'm going to show you one of the newest features. And that is the ability to generate images. Of, like These are actually machine-drawn images using input. And again, this is trained across millions of images. That's how it's learned what it's all about. But I could come up here. I say, okay, for input utilization, turn text on. So this is the big new Galgan 2 feature. And I could say um, a lake. Okay, and you don't hit enter because <laughs> then it reloads the page and you have to come back down here and do it again. Like I said, this is quite literally one of the worst websites ever generated. So I'm going to say lake and I'm going to click this little button over here and it's going, oh, it's got segmentation map turned off. So turn that off. We don't want this as input. So we're going to say here, just text input lake. And then you can see lake. All right, that's cool. Um, waves crashing shore and there you see it, it generates a new image out of all of the inputs you gave it so let's say um mountain by forest and we'll generate that image and then we can by the way you can just keep going so you can have it generate new and new and new images um and let's throw in a waterfall so this is pretty cool. You can actually have it procedurally generate these images um, based off of text only inputs. That's kind of cool. Sometimes they make literally no sense, especially when you get and you try to use uh, more, let's say um, like human input. Let's say, uh, so let's say desert, sure. Desert's gonna look pretty cool because it knows what a desert is. All right, there we go. So we could do complete, we got some weirdness going on down here, but it knows what a desert is. And then I say, um, let's say pond in desert. I don't know if it'll know the word pond, uh, but let's see what it does with that. All right, not the best, but here, let's do lake. Pond is kind of an interesting word, not something that you use very often. So let's. Yeah, so you're getting some weird results because it's kind of blending things together. But let's say, so you're getting into the more abstract here. So so camel in desert, it doesn't do things well. It does landscapes incredibly well. And I think that's the scope of it. So that yeah, that's kind of what you get there. But let's say um, snowy forest. It's some really kind of cool results you can get out of this. Um, blue sky. All right, we're not getting our, there we go. Blue sky, oh, we got a little bit of a weird artifact there. Let's get rid of that. Where's my forest? All right, let's do uh, mountains, blue sky, snow covered and see how it does. So this is one of the big new things with the GAN 2. I'm gonna do it again. All right, there we go. So here is our starting point. Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually take that image in over here. 
And you can actually start going ahead and um, I could say, okay, let's erase part. I could use magic brush and say, okay, I want to get rid of all of this part right here. Like so, and then I'm going to go into the eraser and get rid of the, the leftover bits. Like so, okay. So now this is an area where we can do whatever the heck we want with. All right, so we'll go ahead. We're all done that. Get rid of everything for the most part right here. And now I'm going to say, okay, compute segmentation from real image. And now it's, it's going to take the area that we talked about right there, and it's going to do uh, strangeness to it. Okay. Uh, but now what we can do is we can turn segmentation on as an input. And now I can come in here and I can start doing some painting. So for example, I could come here, landscape, and I could change all this back to water. Let's make this water. That'll make no sense whatsoever. Let's see what the algorithm does with it. Let's increase our brush size. I'm going to turn all this part right here into water. All right, here we go. And go. So now it's using a combination of the source image and our um, our input there. We'll do another random and that, see what we get out of it. Eh, nothing too special. All right, let's try something a little bit more severe. Let's put uh, stone. No. Uh, where is stone? Landscape. Stone. All right, let's see if, what happens if we make this all stone instead. And spit it out over here. And we get a rocky outcropping into our sky. So you can see how this all kind of works together. So you can use real world images, you can use sketches, you can use now text in Gaugan too, and so on. And you can create these images quickly from it. Now let me show you kind of more from uh, a basic version of it. And then I'm going to switch over to a different program. So if you like what I'm about to show you here, and you don't need the input text side of things, so I'm going to do just the segmentation map, which is the drawing we do over here. And I can do something like, all right, so we're going to start uh, ground, and we're going to make sandy ground. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to, okay, what, what drawing mode am I in? I'm in normal drama. Okay, I don't know why it's, like I said, worst website ever. It's not painting in strokes for some, okay, let me just do a reload. Uh, so let's get out of full screen. We'll reload this guy right here, and let's see if we can draw now. All right, so landscape, uh, no, ground, sand. All right, so I can draw now. All right, let's increase our brush size. Like I said, the website is horribad. If you use it for just a few minutes, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. We got sand here, and then we're gonna do, um, let's do landscape, uh, and then we will do river, and we're gonna run a river into our sand like so, and then C out from our sand and then I'm going to do sky oh actually let's do a mountain right here coming out of and then sky all right I accidentally just made my mountain look awfully phallic that was not intended it happens every time I do art <laughs> but that was not meant to be uh so um you know that way so we're gonna go ahead uh, see now I gotta go click the checkbox again all right we're good to go Generate, and here you'll see our mountain cropping out of the water with our river coming into our sand. Some pretty cool stuff on the whole. Do a completely different shot of it right here, and you just kind of keep creating ones. Now, one thing I find that it really sucks at for some reason, and I haven't really figured out why as of yet, but trees. Trees always look bad. So let me go here. I'll draw a tree. Ooh, that's a very big tree. All right, let me just brush size down that. And there's, there's my tree shape. Actually, you know what? I think it just doesn't like evergreen. So let's make a tree shape like that and generate. And it'll generate a tree there. But they're always kind of, I don't know, dead, <laughs> depressing stuff. But as you can see here, this is what Gaugan is all about. The new thing, again, with Gaugan 2 is we can put text input in here. I have found I can mix in a bit. So um, night storm here let's mix that in and see what it does with text input on as well and there you see so sometimes you can mix in the input to the drawing that you've done sometimes it doesn't turn out that great i find so it, it's a really quite a cool program there are some things in here like building stuff buildings always look bad so let's say i want to come in here and do a house right here uh so let's just paint the shape of a house yeah that's what my house looks like so it should show up right here let's see how it does it 
Yeah, so you're not getting real great realism. It's also, I think, in the machine learning, it's going, okay, well, I need a house by a shore in a forest, so it's kind of taking that aesthetic style. Uh, but the results never look that great. Fences work a little bit better, so let's do a fence up to the edge of this river here. Generate that, see how it does. There you go. Uh, so you can create some really kind of cool art using this process. By the way, if you'd rather use something a little bit more polished than this terrible, terrible website, uh, you also have NVIDIA Canvas as an option. Uh, it's available, you need to have a, uh, an NVIDIA card for some strange reason. Uh, so uh, you have to have an RTX card of some form. But once you've got that, it's it's a much nicer uh, setup to work with. So here we've got kind of the same thing. Here is the input, here is the output. So I could come in here and say, okay, I'm gonna do uh, sky first. Actually, we're starting with the sky, so we're good there. Uh, now let's do, um, let me do some kind of a ground, dirt, stone. All right, let's do stone. So you got control over your brush. By the way, this one actually has a line tool, which is kind of nice. So I can just do straight lines if I so wish. So we can start with stone on the foreground, like so. And then once we have a foreground image going on, what we could do then is come in here. Let's do some grass on top of our stone. And there you see it's pulling in the grass layers. This is, oh, okay, that's sand. Let's, all right, let's do a little bit of sand. I probably want to go back to freeform painting. So uh, there we go. We added some sand on top of our rock. Uh, we could go ahead now and I don't want to do fog. That always makes it look a little bit worse. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's add some water. So over here, it looks like we got some water anyway. So let's have some water coming in off the edge. Like so. You can see immediate results right there. I don't know why the, the initial results over here are so fuzzy looking. Uh, I'm assuming you can get around that in the end. Uh, so let's say we want to add some clouds in. We could also do this as a layer, by the way. So let's make a cloud layer. Let's add some clouds into our sky. There you see it is procedurally generating them as we go. And then if we wanted to go and make this a little bit more winter, let's do winter in its own layer. Let's snow the heck out of everything. And there you see the end results. By the way, this one does have undo and redo. The tool is much nicer to work with. So let's do snow on top of our ground. And there you see snow is added in. It's a really quite a cool tool and it's a bit of a glimpse of the future. I got to tell you straight out, Canvas is so much more pleasant to work with than the website. But the website does have that magic new feature, which is the ability to say, um, put inputs in and have it generate uh, part of the image, at least from uh, your input there. So the really cool thing here is you can start with a source image like so, or you can just basically do something over here. So if I wanted to say, um, uh, let's say town in hills. Let's see what that does. We'll turn the segmentation map off completely and go. Uh, not liking that one. Actually, let's do in mountains. So town in the mountains. All right, there we go. So we got a town in a mountainous area. And then what I can do basically is I'm gonna turn my segmentation map back on, which is very random. And let's see how these two things reconcile each other. Uh, no, the segmentation map is completely overwriting it. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, so anyways, that is um, Gaugan 2. Again, the big new thing here is this input text. A lot of times what you'll be using it for is to populate your initial image over here, like we did at the start of this video. Uh, but it's, Again, nobody's going to miss, well, some of the results actually come out very photographic looking, especially if you are working with just straight out landscapes. Uh, some of them, not so much, but you can just see how the future is coming into hold. Uh, it, it could definitely be like a starting point for art generation or for um, mood capturing, that kind of stuff, or definitely for texture map generation. I could see you, how you could extract textures out of the generated results of something like this. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, so uh, again, not immediately useful right now, uh, but this kind of stuff, it's coming along at a staggering rate. If you do want to check that out, again, it's available at galgan.org and NVIDIA Canvas is available at, um, well, I'll give you a link down below if you want to go ahead and down that. that. Again, it's completely free to download. Um, you do need to have an NVIDIA card to use it though. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Galgan 2 and NVIDIA Canvas in action. Let me know what you think of our uh, machine learning future. I don't think artists have anything to be afraid of yet as to photographers, but uh, give it time. Give it time. It's going to be some pretty powerful stuff, but this is literally Genesis. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later and goodbye.